everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm taking a look at some of the new features in the April 24 release of Home Assistant that will help you organize things just a little bit better. So let's check it out. So organizing things like automations and Home Assistant uh, hasn't really been a kind of like a proper way of doing this. Everybody's got a suggested way, always something different from somebody else. Uh, the kind of like the methodology I've used is to go and put uh, square brackets and the name uh, of kind of like the room in front of the automation so I know where that automation belongs. Um, but it's not the most elegant of ways of doing this. However, the Home Assistant team have come to the rescue of everybody and um, you know, they've gone and created categories and you can now filter on categories. You can filter on things like labels and stuff like that as well. But what I'm going to show you here, um, basically, you know, if your automations look like mine, then uh, now might be the time to go and transfer those over to this new um, simple way of doing it. So basically, you just click on your automation, you click on the little dots on the side assign it a category if you haven't got a category set up you can create a new category so i'm going to create a dining one and i'm going to add um, this automation to the dining category and um, yeah you know i can give it an icon if i want to do that uh, same way that I'd, I, you know i gave other things in in home assistant icons as well and then what you'll see is you'll see the the screen change now so i actually see my automation separated out into a dining uh, category so a lot easier to read uh, when i want to see what automations for for what uh, different functions within my house and then all i need to do is i can just rename my automation i can take those square brackets off uh, you know i can take the the name of the room off it or whatever i've already got in there so it just makes it a bit more of a cleaner look uh, that that is a more searchable uh, way of finding things within Home Assistant. And if I want to, I, you know, I can go and create a whole bunch more categories for the different rooms, you know, if I want to do that. Uh, you know, but you might want to do it differently uh, to this. You know, you might want to do things like, um, you know, have uh, grouped by kind of like your devices. So you might want uh, to group all your sensors together uh, or all your uh, you know your security cameras together or something like that so um, lots of different ways that you can actually uh, use this new categorization but as you can see you know as I go through now uh, you know these things are all starting to group together on my automation screen so a lot lot uh, easier in my opinion to be able to go and find things uh, in this part of Home Assistant. Now areas is one of those parts of Home Assistant that uh, I think is probably a bit kind of you know, underused by uh, users. I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. You know, do you use areas? Do you not bother with it at all if you've got something fancy going on uh, in your use of areas? Let me know your views on areas down below. Um, but, you know, it's kind of, uh, you, you know, in one of my previous videos I showed you kind of my home assistant layout and I was using um, a custom area card. Uh, you can achieve that because you've got areas set up. Um, now the thing with areas is it was very much a flat layout. Uh, you know your bathroom existed on the same floor as uh, your front doorway for example and in some houses that is absolutely correct. However not everybody lives on a one level uh, property so one of the things that they've gone and added into this release as well is the ability to add floor levels um, and it's really straightforward you know you just go into um, your areas and uh, you can obviously when you set up your area or you edit it you can specify the floor level so zero is obviously your ground floor uh, and then you can go and put all of the areas that belong on that floor level uh, together and uh, it will group that layout onto your uh, home assistant um, you know kind of like your area dashboard so um, I suspect there'll probably be more things that will get uh, you know kind of like built upon on top of this uh, I would imagine there will be uh, some nice custom uh, components that will come out that will uh, you know be able to do things with this as well um, some of the stuff that kind of immediately 
springs to mind, you know, your um, robot vacuums, uh, you know, where they obviously they can't deal with upper and lower floors. Maybe there's something that you could do there. Um, turning off all of your uh, lights upstairs of an evening or downstairs, whatever, you know, turning devices off on a certain level, um, you know, when you're out of a property, lots of examples like that. So um, really interesting to see where this goes in Home Assistant. Now in the same area of Home Assistant where you've got your areas, there's now a new tab there called Labels. And this is just a way really to go and tag, uh, you know, maybe devices or entities with a, uh, a label of your choosing. So you can just go in there, you can um, add a new label, uh, you can give it a color, um, you know, you can give it an icon if you want to. Um, and then uh, what you can then do is you can then go and uh, literally search for your devices or your entities, whatever, and then you can go and apply that label to those. Uh, really straightforward. Uh, expect to see that probably getting you know used more out uh, throughout the system. Obviously, in your searches, you can also search for things by labels as well. So what I've got set up here as an example is to go and label my security cameras as security cameras. And, uh, you know, I can quickly then go and filter out to be able to see security cameras. Um, one of the things that you can then do with this is, for example, in your templates, uh, you can then pull that data and then use that in your uh, data. So uh, this little uh, snippet of a, a template here in the DevTools, you know, I am saying, give me all of the uh, the, the devices that have got a label of security camera and there are the two IDs that come back for that. So when you go on the Home Assistant help pages you can see uh, how you can use these labels within your template. So um, the mind starts running a little bit here how you can start to use this in, in existing templates. Um, you know I'm sure we will start to see things like this in some of the blueprints uh, that um, you know you can use with with Home Assistant. So, really interesting and also exciting stuff to have in this release of Home Assistant. Uh, I think it's something that I've, I've kind of wanted in Home Assistant for a while to be able to, you know, have a more official way, a more front end controlled way of being able to um, you know categorize and label all, all of the things that are in Home Assistant rather than. Um, you know, just something that people have made do with. Um, I think that's the thing. So let me know, um, you know, let me know what you think of these, uh, these new features within Home Assistant. Uh, you know, let me know down below in the comments. Um, you know, are you using them already in your setup? Have you gone and changed everything that you've got set up already to, uh, to go and have these new categories and labels? And are you using the floors as well? How are you using that? Um, you know, let me know down below in the comments. But if you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.